I'm Pat Lynch, president of the Police Benevolent Association, speaking to you on behalf of 50,000 active and retired New York City police officers. We are the proud men and women who wear a shield on our chest and put ourselves in harm's way to protect our city. We are proud to endorse our president, Donald J. Trump, for re-election because the stakes have never been higher. Like cops across the country, we are staring down the barrel of a public safety disaster. More than 1,000 people have been shot in New York City so far this year. Almost 300 have been killed. These are not just numbers. These are real people. A father gunned down while holding his seven-year-old daughter's hand. A beloved neighborhood peacemaker killed by a stray bullet. A 17-year-old who made all the right choices, who worked hard to go to college and earned a sports scholarship murdered before he can tell his mother the news. A one-year-old child shot dead in his stroller. Innocent people, innocent lives lost. One tragedy is too many, but every day the number keeps growing. And every day our communities are asking us, why is this happening? The answer is simple. The Democrats have walked away from us. They have walked away from police officers, and they've walked away from the innocent people we protect. Democratic politicians have surrendered our streets and our institutions. The loudest voices have taken control, and our so-called leaders are scrambling to catch up with them. In city after city, they've slashed police budgets. They have hijacked and dismantled the criminal justice system. They've passed laws that made it impossible for police officers to do our job effectively. Here's the sad truth that every cop in this country knows. The violence and chaos we're seeing now isn't a side effect. It isn't an unintended consequence. It's actually the goal. The radical left doesn't really want better policing. They don't really care about making the justice system fairer. What they want is no policing. What they want is a justice system that just stops working altogether. In places where Democrats are in power, the radical left is getting exactly what they want and our country is suffering for it. I've been a New York City police officer for 36 years. I've spent 21 of those years protecting the cops who protect New Yorkers. I've never seen our streets go this bad so quickly. I've never heard from so many cops from every corner of the country who are saying the same thing. Our hands are tied. If we're going to turn the tide and restore law and order, we cannot fall into the left's trap. There is nobody who hates bad cops more than good cops. But that doesn't matter to the radical left. To them, we're all just bad because we're all just blue. Their anti-law enforcement campaign isn't about a single incident. It isn't the result of one bad law or one bad policy. It's about a message. The message is police officers are the enemy. The message is criminals have the right to resist arrest. The message is if you commit a crime, if you victimize the most vulnerable of people, the justice system will not hold you accountable. That's the message echoing through city halls and state houses across our country. It's playing on a loop in the media. The criminals have heard that message and they're taking full advantage. We must stop that message. We must expose the left's lies about police officers and the job that we do. And we will do that because we have something that they don't. We have a real leader. We have a powerful voice in the most powerful office in our country. We have President Donald J. Trump. Unlike the Democrats who are running in fear of the mob in the street, President Trump has never apologized for supporting police officers and standing up for law and order. Unlike the Democrats who froze in the face of rioting and looting, President Trump matches his words with his actions. He gives law enforcement the support and the tools we need to go out there and put a stop to it, period. End of story. It has never been harder to be a police officer in this country, but there are two things that keep us going. We look at the victims, the vulnerable, the regular working people who count on us. We keep strapping on our duty belts and bullet-resistant vests because we know we can't let them down. And while we do that, we hear the words of our president, who says to police officers everywhere, I will never let you down. We know that he hasn't, and we know that he won't. We've been fortunate to have him in office these past four years, and we know that we cannot afford to lose him. When it comes to your safety, your family's safety, and the safety of all Americans, there's no other choice. You won't be safe in Joe Biden's America. We can have four more years of President Trump, or you can have no safety, no justice, and no peace.